What's up you guys? Good morning. My name is Maddie. Welcome to welcome back to my channel I just decided that I wanted to vlog today I'm trying to get out as many videos that are fun and somewhat entertaining before I leave for Hawaii I think it's under two weeks now until I leave to work there for the summer, but today I don't have that exciting of an agenda, but you guys like vlogs anyways, so Let's see, I wrote a to-do list on my phone, so I'm gonna read that to you guys. Okay, need to go to the post office and I need to ship out a package. I have a YouTube video to film for a brand. Um, I need to film a few TikToks because guys, my TikTok is actually getting some like traction and I don't know why, but I've gained like, this doesn't sound like that much, but I've gained like a thousand followers in the past few days, which is fun. And I actually got paid from TikTok, which is, freaking wild so I'm trying to be more consistent on there and film more TikToks um, but I need to film a TikTok haul because if you guys saw my last YouTube video I went to Goodwill and I thrifted a bunch of stuff but I need to crop it and make it more cute and I'm gonna do a try on haul on TikTok with that stuff but that's on my to-do list I need to go crop those items um, I need to clean my room um, and then I need to bring some more stuff to Goodwill and I'm thinking of going to Target um, and then maybe going to my favorite coffee shop and starting to edit this video. So yeah, on the first thing of the to-do list though, I'm going to bring my stuff up to my room and start to crop it and I'm going to take you guys along. It's about noon already. I woke up at like 9.30 um, and then I just watched All American on my front porch. I started All American last night and it's so good. I don't know what it is with me and starting these shows like... A year later because I watched Outer Banks a few weeks ago and I really liked it and now I'm watching All American and I like it even more maybe but yeah so that's gonna be my day excited to take you guys along with me she's a Mona Lisa everyone's lining up to see her there must be something bad features you'll find her beauty goes much deeper Okay, so I have cleaned my room. I've also put a lot more clothes onto my clothing account. If you guys don't follow it, go ahead and follow it. I'm still trying to sell clothes, like I said. Um, so I've been packaging some of them and posting more on my account. But I will have that written across the screen so you guys can follow it. But now it's time to flip some of my thrift finds that I found the other day in my last video. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. But I got this fuchsia tank top. And I am going to crop it. It is just a little too long to where I just like like it's just not flattering like I want it to be like cropped so I'm going to make a mark on it and then I'm gonna cut um honestly I should invest in a rotary cutter but I don't have one so I'm going to just use scissors and we'll see how it goes So I made a little bit of a mark. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. And so I'm going to cut off like that much of the shirt. And yeah, let's try and see if it's cute. Okay, here's my rough draft. <laughs> okay, I just went and looked in the mirror. And it does appear as though it goes up right there. <laughs> so I'm going to fix it. But it's already looking so much better. And I'm way likely, way more likely to wear this. Um, now that it's short, but I'm gonna try to fix that right now. I have sad news. So, unfortunately, I accidentally cut this shirt so short that it barely covers my bra. Because I just, like, kept cutting because I wanted it to be even, and it's not even at all. Like, it doesn't look as bad when I hold it up. Maybe I can salvage it in some way, but it's not doing too hot right now. It's just so tilted. I can't tell if you guys can tell or not, but I'm going to not destroy any more of my finds and instead I'm going to get ready for the day. It's about two now, so I've wasted so much time. Um, okay, it's not time wasted because I did clean my room and I did post more stuff on my clothing account. Um, but I'm going to do my makeup and I'm also going to show you guys how I've been doing my eyeshadow lately. If you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, what are you doing? Go follow me. It's at Maddie Blaine. I'll write it across this green but I got this new eyeshadow palette and I've been doing like eyeliner which is so unlike me but I just like have been doing colored eyeliner which is super fun I'll insert some pictures but this is the new palette that I got it is the Avani and Morphe collaboration and it's so pretty and what's super cool about like the smaller shades like the two rows at the bottom um these are actually water activated eyeliners so if you put your brush in water um and like rub it around it's kind of like a paint like a watercolor paint 
um, then you can do a little painted liner look, which is super fun. So I got this little tiny brush, and I think I'm going to wear pink today. I'm just feeling it. Um, so I'm going to go do my makeup, and I will show you guys how I do my eyeliner. I'm in my mom's bedroom. I have on all of my face makeup, but no eye makeup. I just did my eyebrows. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how I use this palette. Um, because I've actually gotten a lot of questions of people being like, how do you do your eyeshadow like that so I figured that I would show you guys because it is a little bit of a learning curve and I'm not somebody who's super skilled in makeup so let that be your encouragement that if you want to start doing fun makeup it's never too late you can always experiment and learn to be better at things because I definitely have I'm gonna go into the shade Sonia right here um, I have this little cup of water and I'm going to wet my brush and then I'm going to go into the shade and paint it just like I would, like wet the paint. Um, just like I would with like a watercolor. You got to make sure that you have a good amount of paint on the brush. Look at my orange hands from my self-tan. Oh my gosh. It is a little bit tricky, so I apologize if you can't see super close, but I have to use this mirror. Um, but I'm going to go in, I'm going to start in the inner um, corner. See, it's so pigmented and pretty. Oh my gosh. I chose like a hot pink. Okay, I messed up a little bit at the end, but there you can see. Um, and I'm just going to do the wing. I'm going to go get a Q-tip and touch up a little bit because I messed up a little bit. Um, but that's pretty much how I do it, and I'm gonna go fix it up, go get a Q-tip. The wing is definitely the hardest part, and the part that I've had to practice the most. I got this maybe four days ago, and I've done, um, blue, green, and orange so far. I'm super excited about all the rest of the colors. I don't know if you can use the rest of the colors the same way, um, but honestly, like, all of these at the bottom are enough for me, because <laughs> I'm just gonna be super entertained with this for a long time. I'm gonna do the rest of my wing off camera and then come back for the other eye. Here is this eye finished. Again, I'm not a pro by any means. I just do it for fun. It definitely adds more time to my makeup routine, but I think it's worth it because of how fun it is. And it looks way less weird once I have on my mascara, but I'm gonna actually go and do the other eye also off camera. But just so you guys know how to do it, you literally wet your brush and then use the palette like paint. And it's so dang fun. Okay, and here are both of them done. Again, it takes so much practice, not perfect at it. Um, but I think it looks fun. I have to obviously clean it up with some foundation or concealer. But I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and then we will chat. Okay, I just finished the rest of my makeup. You can see the pink. So fun. So cute. Um, I'm probably obviously going to wear something that's pink. Um, and then I'm going to head out. I need to pick up something from my doctor. I had to have some medical forms signed for Hawaii. I have to go ship out some stuff that people ordered from my clothing account. Um, and then might go to that coffee shop. Edit this video for a little bit. Um, might bring some more stuff to Goodwill. I'm looking at my to-do list right now. But yeah, let's go figure out what we're gonna wear. Here is the outfit. I am wearing this bandana, which is super cute. I've worn this a bunch, but I still love it. Um, obviously, the pink eyeliner, this pink little tank top. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions about this necklace. It is from Amazon. I will link it um, in the description box for you guys. It's just one of those cute little trendy beaded necklaces. I'm sure I could have made this myself, but I'm lazy. Um, pink little tank top. Um, these shorts that are magical. They're from H&M, and I love them, and I'll probably wear my um, pink Jordans. But yeah, I'm going to get on my way. Like I said, I have a bunch of errands. So go to the doctor, get that form, ship out my shirts. I have to go to the grocery store for my mom. Um, and then maybe I'll end up editing at a coffee shop. Not really sure though, but I'm gonna bring my laptop just in case. Also, I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby, maybe Target. I need a rotary cutter um, because I just don't trust myself cropping my shirts anymore because of that tragedy that happened with that purple tank top. Oh, guys, don't judge me. I'm a little bit of a country music fan, but only like pop country, especially Sam Hunt. I've talked about this before in my videos, but so with Apple Music, they'll have this thing like Sam Hunt Radio, like Sam Hunt and other artists, kind of like Pandora, if you guys remember that. But 
So it like literally just plays all these songs that I like and that I know because they're all like pop country and not like annoying country. But so that's like my guilty pleasure. So gonna jam, do my little errands and yeah, productive day so far. I'm proud of myself. Okay, the Hobby Lobby is 10 minutes away and I'm listening right now. It's five seconds of summer's first album, big throwback. This is literally what I grew up on. If you guys don't know this about me, I'm a huge Five Seconds of Summer fan. I went through a One Direction phase, but I went through an even harder Five Seconds of Summer phase. So just this for Five Seconds of Summer. They like, opened for One Direction, I believe so, but I don't really know how I found them. I guess they were super popular when I was growing up, but I love them and I'm just like such a huge stan and I know literally every single one of their songs So comment down below if you also love five sauce so we can bond on it um, but favorite song from um, Their like debut self-titled album is probably end up here It's just such a jam, but yeah, I can go to Hobby Lobby and get my thing so I can crop my shirts I'm really stressed about my little purple tank top also thinking about going to Target, but is that unnecessary? Yeah, I have secured the goods. Hopefully my crop things won't be as bad anymore. Hi guys, okay, I am on my front porch. I am finally home. I went to the grocery store to get some stuff for my mom for her. I think she's having like a class party, so I had to get cupcakes and Capri Sun. She's a fourth grade teacher. Um, And I'm gonna sit out on my front porch and I'm gonna eat a little bit of a snack. It is um, about six o'clock, so I'm gonna eat dinner soon. I might like eat this and then have my dinner Um, but I still want to crop my shirts and film that and show you guys what they look like And then I still want to film my I still want to film my haul for that brand So I'm trying to decide if I should tonight or not because I want to do it when it's still bright outside I feel like I over Compensate the amount of time it takes me to do things. That's what always happens is I'm always like Oh my gosh, it's 10 a.m. I'm not gonna be ready by 2 to go do this. Does anybody else do that? Like I do that every time. Anyways, I have these chips and I'm gonna eat. I love Trader Joe's. I went to Trader Joe's yesterday and I got this buffalo style chicken dip. Usually buffalo chicken dip is like cooked and like warm. Um, so this is cold. It's like refrigerated, but it has white chicken meat with cream cheese, sour cream, cayenne pepper sauce, and shredded Monterey Jack cheese. So it sounds super yummy and I wanted to taste it and let you guys know if it's any good. Like am I a food YouTuber now? No, not at all. Okay, I got a good size scoop. Let's try it. Oh yeah, that is very yummy. It literally tastes just like buffalo chicken dip, but it's cold. And which is exactly what I thought it would taste like, but it's really spicy and it has chicken in it. So it's kind of filling. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Now I have a new thing from Trader Joe's that I love. I love Trader Joe's, oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna sit down on my front porch and relax for a little bit. And I'm going to watch All American, which is just my new obsession. Once you get to meet her. You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides Under her disguise Yeah, 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 yeah And all the girls Okay, vlog I got my rotary cutter Ready to go, it was on sale And then my mom has one of these little plastic things that I'm gonna set it on so that I don't ruin it um, but yeah, let's send a prayer up for my little purple tank top because homegirl just did not turn out super good. It looks like it's pretty long, but the problem is like I have boobs, so it's pretty short on me. I'm going to try to straighten it up and then I'll try it on afterwards, but I'm not too hopeful about salvaging this one. It just... It's just a fallen soldier at this point, I believe. Okay. Okay, this is the best line that I've had so far. Oh my gosh. 
it didn't even touch the back. Oh, this is embarrassing. I'm wondering if I should just throw this away. Like, if I was one of those girls who could just not wear bras, that would solve literally all of my problems. Next up is this one. Um, I put a little mark right there, so I'm gonna cut right above that little sharpie line. Okay, so this is my first successful one, and it is this one. I'm thinking I might cut it a little bit more. Um, like it's fine as is because the only pants that I really wear are high waisted so you can't really tell that it's that cropped. I don't know, I'm kind of conflicted about if I should cut it just a little bit more, maybe right there. I don't know, I can't tell. But I think I did a good job, it's pretty even. Um, I should have just waited and got the rotary cutter so I wouldn't have to struggle with that freaking pink shirt because I'm so upset that I ruined it, but I think this is good. Now, for this one, the first thing I'm going to do is cut off the sleeves. They're too tight. I tried it on, so that's the first order of business. I think it'll be a cute little muscle tank. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, next one revealed. I could definitely go a little bit shorter on the top but I cut off the sleeves and I think that is the most redeeming part about it because it's just like a cute little tank top now like I feel like a preppy little schoolgirl imagining this with like a tennis skirt I really like them with these shorts though I think it looks like adorable I could definitely crop it a little more but I'm not gonna do that today but I think it's adorable okay here is what the tank top looks like on because I just threw it on while I was cutting another one. Like, it's not horrible if my pants are super high-waisted, but, like, you can almost see my bra. And, like, I I mean, I guess I could raise my arms, so that's not that bad. But it's just a little too close for comfort, and the back is also super uneven. So, like, maybe... I just, I just don't know. I'm so upset that I ruined this. Okay, next, here's this one. I'm trying to get them all to do the little roll thing because I think it looks less gross than like the raw hem, you know what I'm talking about? Like the raw fabric, but cute, fun, exactly what I wanted. Okay, so I didn't finish cutting all of them, but my mom and I are gonna watch the second episode of season 11 of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. It's coming on right now, so it's our first time actually watching it live. So that's super exciting. So we're gonna do that. It's about eight o'clock now, so I'm gonna go inside, bring all of my stuff inside, and I'll probably finish this project tomorrow or later tonight, but I doubt it will still be light outside. But it's been a productive day, which is good. Um, obviously didn't film the haul that I needed to film, but I will do that tomorrow. Um, but I got pretty much everything else that I needed to get done, which is super, super exciting. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something that features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. Drum blows, yeah, I got the drum blows, yeah. Walk down like who you, yeah. It's something you get used to, yeah. Go pipe the drum blows, yeah. It's just the drum blows, yeah.